welcome you to all to watch the video of the types of flip flop the first type is sr flip flop sr is set reset flip flop flip flop is a type of sequential circuit and used as a memory element to store the binary information so it is a building blocks for registers counters and some memory devices so first let's see the working of sr flip flop here we are having uh, inputs sr with the clock cycles as a synchronous sequential circuit it can be used along with the clock pulse so the outputs that we are getting is q and q bar okay so it is a complemented output and it is a set and a reset inputs okay so this is a function table how it is working so it is having the combinations of it is a two input variable so 0 0 0 1 10 and 1 1 are the combinations so and this is the present state output and we can observe that whenever the input is 0 0 there will be no change so the present state will come in the output when the input is 0 and 1 we can get the reset condition which is 0 and when the input is 1 0 when the set is 1 and reset is 0 means we are getting the set condition which is the output 1 okay so and for 1 1 when we are applying 1 1 here with the clock pulse we are getting the indeterminate output so we don't able to get the output for this combination so this is a logic circuit so this sr flip flop can be implemented with both nand gate and nor gate here we are implemented with nand gate so for this here we used four nand gates for the first two nand gates we are providing inputs that the clock inputs for common for both of them then set to here and reset here okay then again here there are two nand gates uh, among them here the first input that comes from the output from this nand gate and for this nand gate the output comes from this this act as one of the input then we can feed the q from this and from q bar connecting from this okay so this is that state now the present state so with the help of the present state we calculating the next state and its complement so whenever we are applying 1 1 here we are getting both one which is not a possible combination so it can be marked as a interdeterminate okay so this is a characteristic table so how can we draw this characteristic table so actually there are four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so for those four combinations we are having the present state as 0 and 1 for all those combination so this is how the table has been written so for 0 0 Zero one 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 and one zero. The present state conditions zero and one has been mentioned. Okay. Then the next state. So as per the table, when the input is zero zero means there will be no change. So whatever is it in the present state comes directly here. Whenever the input is zero zero, and whenever the input is zero one, it is reset condition. So when the input is zero one means whatever the value, it will come as zero and zero. Okay. When input is one zero, we are getting one one, which is the set condition. Finally, when the inputs are one one means it is an indeterminate case. Okay, so this SR flip flop providing two states, one is set and another one is reset. So this is how the, now comes the excitation table. So in this excitation table, the present state and the next state is come here. Okay, then the flip flop inputs should be mentioned here. for those combinations of 0 0 so this 0 0 and this 0 0 for them the corresponding inputs has been written here so for 0 1 where is 0 1 here so this is 0 and this is 1 the corresponding input has been written here similarly for 1 0 and 1 1 we have written now we have to check here this 0 is common in this input so we have right here but this term r is changing so we keeping the x here so here it is 10 only here it is 01 here in this case also the zero is common so we have written the zero here but uh, this is changing here it is zero here it is one for the present state one so here we implemented with the x okay so this is a summarization of the excitation table using the flip flop inputs okay so this is present state and the next state so for 0 0 we are getting this 0 x okay then for 0 1 i am getting 1 0 then for 1 0 i am getting 0 1 then for 1 1 i am getting x 0 okay so this is how the table has been summarized finally the state diagram so this condition 
whenever the input is 0 and 1, where the states are there. Now, this is a present state and this is the next state. So, 0. So, 0 to 0. So, 0 to 0 means at that time, what will be the inputs? Okay. So, 0, x. So, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. 0, x can be written as 0, 0 and 0, 1. Okay. So, this is from the state 0 to 0. Then, 0 to 1. 0 to 1. At that time, what is the input? 1, 0. Then, 1 to 0. This is 1 and this is 0 state. 1 to 0. At that time, it is 0, 1. Finally, 1, 1. 1 to 1. Okay. At the time of 1, 1, it is x, 0. This is written as 1, 0 and 0, 0. Okay. So, with the help of the function table only, we can able to draw the characteristics table. And after drawing the characteristics table, we can implement the K-map simplification. Once doing the K-map simplification, we perform with the excitation table. And this excitation table helps to draw the state diagram. So, JK flip-flop, it always comes with draw drawbacks from the SR flip-flop. So, in SR flip-flop, whenever we provided the input uh, both as 1-1 one, one means, we are getting an indeterminate state. So, it has been overcome with the output of toggle condition. Okay. So, we can get the complement output. So, compared to SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop performs three functions. One is setting to 1 and another one is resetting to 0, then complementing the input. Okay. So, this is a simple block diagram. So, JK, they are the inputs and the clock signal. We are getting Q and Q bar. Okay. So, this is a implementation using NAND gate. So, here we are using three inputs. So, one input that is common to both these gates, clock input. And here we are using J. And here we are using K. And from that Q bar can be fed as a in, one of the input to this NAND gate. And here Q can be fed as one of the input to this NAND gate. Okay. Then for this NAND gate, we are getting two inputs. One is from this NAND gate output. And here we are getting from this NAND gate output. It is connected to this. Afterwards, for another input to these two gates, here we can connect it from this Q bar can be connected to this NAND gate. And this Q can connect it as one of the input to this NAND gate. Okay, so the output is Q and Q bar. Okay, by this condition we are predicting the output. So now let us see the function table. So in this function table, uh, we are having J, K as inputs. Okay, so 0, 0, the condition is no change. Okay, so this is somewhat similar to that of SR flip flop. Then 0, 1, it is reset condition to 0. Okay, then 1, 0, 1, 0 is set condition. Okay, then 1, 1. 1, 1 means complement, which we call it as toggle state. Okay, so whenever we provide a input as 1 means, we are getting output 0. When we, get, when we give the input as 0 means, we get the output as 1. This is what the toggle condition. So, JK flip are performing three functions. One is setting to 1, resetting to 0 and additionally, it performs the complement function also. Now, let us see the characteristics table. So, as that of two SR flip flop, here same combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For each of these combinations, we are having the present state 0 and 1. So, that is what we have implemented in this table. So, for 0, 0, here 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, for input 0, 0, we are using two conditions 1 is 0 and 1. So, whenever the input is 0, 0, we are having Two present state, one is 0 and 1. Okay. So, as per the rule, there will be no change in the next state. So, whatever in the present state comes directly here, whenever the input is 0. And then the condition 0, 1. When it is 0, 1 means it is reset condition. This condition is reset. And then 1, 0. The 1, 0 when we are applying for JK means we are getting set condition. Means we are getting the output as 1. Then 1, 1. When both the inputs are 1, 1 means we are getting the complement output. Okay. So, the toggle condition Q and bar. Okay. So, when the input is 1, 1 at that time in the present state, if it is 0 means it is complemented to 1. Okay. When 1, 1 at that time when the present state is 1 means we are getting output as 0 because it is in the toggle state. 
input of jk equal to 11 means we are getting the complemented output so the present state is zero so the, so that we are getting one and when the present state is one means we are getting zero then with the help of characteristics equation we have to draw the k map okay so this is how the k map simplification has been done so with the present state q1 and the jk we plot the k map so we are grouping this one and this one this is group 1 and this is group 2 so the equation has been find as that j q bar plus k bar q okay see the excitation table of the jk flip flop so we are putting the present state and the next state here for the corresponding present state and next state we have to define the jk flip flop inputs okay so these are all the inputs these are all the present state and next state first we have to choose 0 0 condition so here where 0 0 is coming here and here okay for this 0 0 condition what is the corresponding inputs so that's what we have written here 0 0 and 0 1 okay so for 0 0 and here 1 0 0 and here 1 0 0 we are writing the corresponding inputs 0 0 and 0 1 now 0 1 so where is 0 1 here so here 1 0 1 and here 1 0 1 so what is the corresponding inputs 1 0 and 1 1 okay from this we have to look this okay so then 1 0 so where is 1 0 here so here 1 1 0 and here 1 1 0 their corresponding inputs 0 1 and 1 1 then finally for 1 1 condition for 1 1 condition here are 1 1 and here are 1 1 so their corresponding inputs has been written okay now we have to see that uh, we have simplify this excitation table by how so here 0 x it has been simplified as 0 x because this 0 is common here for j but k there is a transition here it is 0 and here it is 1 so we put x so here 1 is common and this one is changing so j is common here k is variable here so 1 x so here k is constant here and j is changing so here x and here 1 and finally here for k it is fixed and j it is varying okay then now this excitation table has been summarized here for the condition 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 we writing as 0 x 1 x so 0 x can be found from here then 1 x then x 1 and x 0 okay and finally the state diagram the condition from where to where the present state and next state is going for the, the corresponding input so for 0 to 0 0 to 0 what is the input then 0 to 1 so this is 0 0 to 1 it is 1 x and from 1 to 0 this is 1 to 0 it is x 1 finally 1 1 so to 1 to 1 we are getting x 0 so this is how the implementation happened so for a jk flip flop the main highlight point is it's performing three operations then with the help of the function table we implementing the characteristics table then we get the k map simplification once we done the k map simplification with the help of characteristics table we define the flip flop inputs for the corresponding present and the next state okay then we summarize the excitation table from the excitation table we draw the state diagram thank you for watching the video